and it'll get more lush. It'll fill in. It's so nice to have some light and color back in our yard. Thanks so much, Tony. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thanks for all your work. It was so much fun. You too. Landscape designer Tony Keenans took Aaron and Matthew's dilemmas and created a backyard that works beautifully for them and their dog, Mabel, too. Thanks for joining us on Landscapers Challenge. We'll see you next time when we put three more landscape designers to the test. I'm Marianne Coran. HGTV's International House Hunters Week continues as a young couple moves from Oregon to Paris. Tonight at 10 on HGTV. This time we're bringing new ideas to the old world. Two techie homeowners want to reprogram their French country style home. I think we can do something more Venetian. Got it. Done. Unique ideas for Italian inspiration. Wow, this looks really good. And low cost ways to transform your home. Steven Gillette works for an internet company. Uh, you can see where I get my inspiration for home. Around here, he runs the IT show. Are oh, the systems running? Good. At home, it's his wife, Aisha, who oversees the day-to-day -day operations. The drama doesn't end. She assists with computer okay, malfunctions. Do you, click on that right there. And keeps the home's command center a buzz. Nothing's speaking at us. Outside, the pace runs a little slower. The beige is at a standstill, and the entry's pretty poorly engineered. So what are you guys looking for in this house? Definitely warming it up, looking for warm colors. Mm -hmm. We don't get a lot of sun. I also want to get like uh, some kind of tech uh, gadgets and some kind of uh, high tech surveillance. Okay, so something a little bit warm, a little bit of tech. All right, we got a super creative designer, and I think he can help you with both those things. We're excited. I've heard you're experiencing some technical difficulties. <laughs> oh no, I hope not. Designer Daniel <laughs> Owens technology. is plugged into great design. I know the house is French country. I think it makes sense to go Italian. Yeah, I can envision that. Yeah. We, yeah. I think as long as we get a high-tech system for Asian the kids, something I'd like. As long as we go Italian, you can have all the high-tech you want. <laughs> Daniel and the Gillettes go for a tour. Do you like the Keystone? We want something that's very attractive, because we do have a lot of family and friends coming over. Um, some from out of town, some local, and we just want something that's more inviting. Our address, too, is a very complicated number. I'd love to uh, make sure that that's easily remembered, so. <laughs> Daniel comes up with a plan. To the left, the stairs are kind of dull. Italian mosaics on the risers would give the steps interest. At the bottom of the stairs, Daniel will put up a decorative iron security gate complete with video cameras and motion sensors. This will give the Gillettes the high-tech security they're looking for. Front and center, Daniel's not so thrilled with the garage. He wants to strip the paint and stain the oak door to match their front door. For the house color, Daniel proposes a rich terracotta to really warm things up. On the coins, a bow finish to look like stone. And a lighter stone finish on the concrete walk and drive. It's all about creating the illusion of an aged villa. For the landscaping, Daniel wants to tear up some concrete to make room for what he calls a jewel box garden. It's a small space, so he wants something that'll stand out. And I'd like to add a few high-tech items to the project, if we could. Yeah, I think anything that plugs in, uh, I'm, I'm game for. That'd be exciting. Okay, so you like the design, we'll add the tech, we're good to go. Yeah. Daniel and Aisha take off for a home security store they check out light sensors for the house. This one here is a wireless motion detector. They find sensors that'll turn any light fixture on. They also check out security cameras. I light. think we're not looking for anything too, you know, too complicated. There's all kinds of options. It's amazing the technologies that we can apply to a home. It's mind boggling. Aisha, I brought some colors that are just- The next day, the Daniel pulls some ideas for I'm paint. Thinking. I love color, and I'm, I want to go bold, but I'm really bad about picking the See, right hue. See, if so if I'm you're ready <laughs> to go bold, these are bold colors. Yes, they are. <laughs> Aisha agrees the beige has got to go. 
I'm really looking for warmth because I don't get the sun on this part of the house. I'm definitely leaning towards some type of a terracotta. I think this is too dark. Aisha likes the idea of terracotta, but wants to explore other possibilities. We don't have to be within the exact few yet. Hi, how you doing? I'm Jeff down at home. Meanwhile, Stephen's on to a project of his own. With his IT background, he's up on some of the latest advancements in technology. He's found a company that makes motion sensors for the entire home. With special software, he'll be able to control all of the home's outdoor lights from any computer anywhere. You can turn them on, you can turn them off, you can brighten them and dim them. The family will also be able to set and change timers from home or on the road. Pretty convenient stuff for a busy family like theirs. So we got some geek stuff, we got some tech stuff going. We do, we got some software installed on the computer that controls all the lights from a central console. So rather than running around and turning lights on and off, you just program it into the computer. It's really cool stuff. And, and if it doesn't work, you can always just go back to the clapper. You can. Right? Just... <laughs> when we come back, new heights Ooh, in metalwork. I like how they're rounded. I wonder if they're gonna be too tall. Instant aging for under 10 bucks. It's so easy, you don't even have to know how to paint. And a not so expensive way to turn your stairs into art. This is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Spring it on, spruce it up. Spring's the perfect time for fresh, colorful ideas for your home, your life, only on HGTV. Most car companies use crash test dummies to study the effects of accidents on drivers and passengers. It makes sense to be concerned about the people inside your cars. But what about the people outside? What kind of company is concerned about them? Ask me anything about cranberries. I spent most of my life knee deep in them. I don't have time to think about retirement. So I found someone I trusted to do it for me. Retirement and estate planning from Mutual of Omaha. Begin today. I want to tell you about something that will change the way you think about the foods you eat. Foods like stir fry, pasta, chicken, you name it. It's new Enova oil. It's made from natural soy and canola. What makes Enova oil special? Compared to other vegetable oils, less of it is stored in the body as fat. So Enova oil can help you maintain a healthy lifestyle. Want to make a change for the better? Do you know what to do? Switch to new Enova oil. If you have great credit, shouldn't you get a better rate on your home equity line? At eLoan, you do. We process your loan differently, online. That costs less, so you get a great rate with no lender fees. Apply today at eLoan.com. Every morning, millions of people get off to the wrong start. Open the door. Hey. That's why there's International Delight. Delight in every cup. It's termite swarm season. Terminex them with the protection more homeowners believe in. 1 800 Terminex. I want it, want it, want it, want it. All new stuff you just gotta have for your home. All in one show. I want that. Sunday night at 8 30 on HGTV. For inspiration, designer Daniel Owens has taken Asia and Stephen Gillette to a museum that has lots of high tech exhibits. <laughs> It's like fun. We can do a lot of high-tech stuff to the house, but still kind of honor the architecture and the classic tradition. The house is going from French country to Venetian. But Daniel wants to find some other elements that'll make our high-tech owners feel at home. Daniel spots an LED sign. Look at this, this is so cool. I have this idea for using an LED light, and we're gonna put an LED light in front of the house, greet visitors, street letters, message of the day, whatever. The next morning, Aisha has picked out some wild colors for the house. I like this one. She wants to be sure she's checked out every possibility. First up, pink. No polish. <laughs> well, at least someone likes it. Good technique. Then they try maroon, Daniel's terracotta, 
speechless. And sort of a fluorescent chartreuse green. Are you scared? The whole reason for getting so many colors is because then if I was scared of one, oh, I have a backup. Oh, I have another backup. <laughs> So you had a hand in picking these colors, and it looks like maybe your kids did, too. They were with me in the paint store. It was a little chaotic. When I said a family of colors, I meant a diverse family. The whole extended family. There you go. Everybody, the cousins and everybody, <laughs> anyone who's related. The jury deliberates on their selections. So are we going back to the paint store? We've got a lot of different paint here, which helps me know that I'm never going to look back and wish I had my house chartreuse or pink, you know. So I'm Back to the paint store. <laughs> Daniel wants Italian stairs, but first, they got to pick the tile. I'd like to find some mosaic type tiles that have a Venetian feel to them that would give some sparkle and warm up the entry. The mosaics are really detailed and can be really expensive. And what's the price range on this? Well, something like this with all its intricacy and everything, this runs about $50 a linear foot. So that might be a little bit out of our price range. Yeah. They find a similar pattern that's more affordable. Uh, it's a smaller pattern, it's a little bit wider, uh, therefore it will be a little bit less. And pick out a golden color scheme for the mosaic. Well, I think it might be better to go with something just a little darker to set it off. I think if we could get something with a bit of polish and see a little sparkle to it, that would be really great. No problem. Meanwhile, the crew gets to work on an iron balcony. It's going to be the centerpiece of our house. We wanted to have all the custom little scroll work design. And painter John Burke put some color on the house. So you're going with the orange color. It's terracotta. It'll look nice when it dries. It does. It dries yeah. dark. It looks nice. And the garage door? You're looking at a lot of work here. Pretty labor intensive. So we were going to chemically peel the door and stain it, but it was just costing too much. Over 1800 bucks. they wanted to charge us for that. It would look great, but... You know what, I mean, that's a lot of money to spend on that, too. Yeah, so I think we're just going to throw some paint up there, and I think it's going to look really good. It'll still look great, yeah. They decide to go with a slate-colored sage. The darker colors on wood, they don't last as long because the sun really beats them up. This is light enough that you're not going to have any problems down the road. The painters also use the sage as a base coat on the coins. Asia meets with faux painter Jennifer Haley to talk about the home's coins and concrete. So these are just options that you can choose to put on that crest outside. For the walkway and drive, Jennifer wants this stone look. I like it. I don't see anything that I would want to change on this at all. On the front corners of the house are stones called coins that look like brick. Jen wants to paint these a different sort of green. This is just a, a sponge technique. It's just three different colors on the sponge very quick. So I really like the faux sample that Jen came up with for the coins. But now that the painters are actually starting to paint the sagey green foundation color, I think I want to stick with that. Outside, the concrete comes up. Daniel's making room for the landscape. We're going to spice it up a little bit. So is he on board with all the paint changes? I guess the budget's not going to allow us to stain the door, but what about the coins? Well, we came up with a faux sample yeah. with Jen, and it was really busy. So we decided to just keep with the crisp lines, like a Venetian house, the pictures we've seen. OK. I, would, I think it would look good to have the faux on the stone, but we'll make it work. Okay. Yay, let's see what it is. Later, packages show up. There's Italian light fixtures. They're nice big lights like Tiamu wanted. And a keyless lock set. Look at the buttons. Now we'll be able to punch in a code to get into the house. Then the crew puts the light fixtures up. In the entry and over the garage. And then they wire and mount the motion sensors Daniel and Steven settled on. This will turn their new Italian fixtures into motion lights. A better look than using the more traditional ones. Besides the sensors, all of the house lights, indoor and out, can also be manually controlled two different ways. One would just be with little handheld remote controls, or you can use a, a point and click, drag and drop software program that we've created. This is really convenient. This will help me out a lot. Then the gate goes in. I go to work this morning, I come back, there's a gate, and it's uh, taller than me and the kids on my shoulders. So. You don't think it's too tall, do you? No, it's perfect scale for the house. Yeah, you don't want someone just climbing over the top, right? Uh, I guess I'll just have to get used to it. To give the metalwork the feel of an Italian villa, the faux painter returns to patina the finish. 
We're using an oil-based paint here so it can stand the weather. It's a simple process of dabbing the paint on and wiping it off. It's very natural. Very natural looking. Aisha gives it a try. Don't be so dainty. I know. I'm working up my courage. It's just paint. This time, excess is key. If you miss a spot, that's what makes it look fake. So overdo it and then wipe. Jennifer's also putting a patina in the corners of the gate. Water collects there, so that's where patina would actually grow. It's patina madness. It is, but you know, Jen has this objective. She's really trying to bring the old world charm to this crisp paint job that we have going on. And it doesn't stop there. Over the front windows, Jen Gold leaves a blaster crest. Down below, the tree sleeves arrive. Ooh, I like how they're rounded. I wonder if they're going to be too tall. These wrought iron sleeves are decorative protection for the trees, if they fit. They are just way too tall. I think we just measured wrong, or Daniel measured wrong. <laughs> if it's a problem, you just call me. I'm here with the blowtorch in a second. Chiffy. Later, the front walk gets its own faux treatment. It goes on thick because we want to make it look like stone. Wow, this looks really good. I can't believe how great this turned out. Just ahead, Italian vistas. Italian Mercero, That means meatball spaghetti sauce. And a renaissance of low cost ideas. The kids are going to love this. We're waiting for a sign. It says, let me out of here. Next. Is there no stopping these voracious veggies? Take a look at this. Garden Giants still growing. Sunday night at 9 on HGTV. Ah, Italy. The lifestyle, the food, and the wine. Now you can live like an Italian with Fine Living's Winemaker for a day sweepstakes. Get a taste of the Italian way of life with Eco Domani Wines and Winemaker Fabrizio Gatto. Go to the heart of Tuscany and learn the secrets of authentic Italian cooking. A week of Italian life could be yours. Brought to you by Eco Domani Wines, the Fine Living Winemaker for a day sweepstakes. Enter now at fineliving.com. This bolt is four and a half inches long, made from hardened alloy steel. Six of them connect the cargo box of the Ford F-150 to its frame. Why do we do this when others don't? Because we're building the strongest pickup. You can be sure of that. We are. Only one truck earned the right to be the next Ford F-150. My eyes are blue, and my thumb is green. Janet's eyes needed protection from UV rays, rays which can cause cataracts. She needed prescription sunglasses. With these, my eyes are safe. For over 40 years, we've known that a comprehensive eye exam is the first step towards maintaining the health of your eyes. Now my eyes have it made in the shade. They're Janet's eyes but they're my responsibility. Right now, get 50% off all lenses, including prescription sun lenses, at Pearl Vision. It would be great if this spring, my house sprouted some new carpet. You can make it happen at the Home Depot. Because not only will you get 10% off all flooring installed through the Home Depot, you'll get 10% off the installation, too. Plus, get no payments or interest till January 2006 on purchases of $299 or more with your Home Depot or Expo consumer credit card. That's on everything in the store. It's just another way we're driving down costs. At the Home Depot, you can do it. We can help. House hunting? Get a jump on it with your local source for homes, TV Mart Channel 15, where the area's finest real estate companies place their clients' homes for sale. Imagine viewing your next home from the convenience of your easy chair. You'll see the price, location, and features of every home. Sit back, relax, and view the properties in one convenient place. TV Mart, Channel 15. So if you're looking for a vehicle and a garage to park it in, watch TV Mart, Channel 15. At Comcast High Speed Internet, we're always bringing new enhancements to your door. Like the best online music experience. Exclusive content just for kids. News, sports, and entertainment videos that play in an instant. And upgrades to our broadband speed that let you do more with all the features included in your service. Comcast, the number one high speed internet provider in America. Call 1-888-COMCAST today.
All right, so what are we gonna do with this? Designer Daniel Owens has found a high-tech solution for a low-tech problem. Well, actually, Asia told me that sometimes she has to put a sign on the front door that the kids are sleeping or whatever, so I thought, you know, she could just electronically put in a message. For under 80 bucks, this simple message board will bring a taste of tech to the front yard. Later, plants arrive and Daniel gets to spot. Against the house, pendulating cedar trees. So these actually grow down. They do, they're a pendulating tree. They are trained to grow into this spiral pattern, mm -hmm. but the overall growth habit is to grow down. For color, fuchsia and white flowering mandeville. I'm so excited to have a garden in front of concrete. We have such a little space here. I was inspired to create a planting that was like a little jewel box with just really great little specimens and sparks of color. Then planting begins. The old magnolia tree is diseased, so it's got to come out. In its place, a new strawberry tree to balance things out. So do the tree sleeves fit? I think that they're going to be really fine. In another year, as the trees grow and mature a little bit, they're going to be just the right scale. Daniel takes off to meet with muralist Paige Weber. He wants to fill this blank space by the stairs. We wanted to create this mural with this warm Mediterranean Venice feeling. You had asked for a mural, and it's, that, it's more of a painting. Paige based her design on some Venetian artwork Asia chose. It's very impressionistic. Mm -hmm. She really wanted to see water. The oil canvas will be covered with a glaze to protect it from the outdoors. The mural, it's really coming along. I think it's going to just turn out perfect. Back at the house, the stairs are getting a thin layer of cement. In order for it to sit flat, I had to build it out. So I did that on all the stairs. Putting up the tile isn't as easy as it seems. Each tread is a slight angle, so each mosaic needs an extremely precise cut. Scroll work goes up over the garage, and Asia gold leafs the house numbers herself. I guess my last step that I have to do is just polyurethane this. The alcove next to the front door is empty, so Daniel returns with a cool Italian-inspired idea that doesn't cost a lot of money. I want to do this blackboard project. It will be something fun for the kids to draw on. To make it, Daniel has us paint a plain piece of wood with blackboard paint. This is cool, though. You know, I, I had never seen chalkboard paint before. Then, mosaic tiles get glued to the edges. Daniel says a mosaic blackboard next to the front door will greet visitors with a personal touch that can easily be changed day to day. And they should have about, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch or so between them. Okay. And then we'll grout in there. Once it all dries, my inner artist comes out. I made you a little plant for the entry. Oh, I can't kill it. <laughs> the Gillettes have a family-friendly chalkboard for under 30 bucks. And later that afternoon, the mural goes up in a custom-made frame. This way, it's not attached to the neighboring house. Now, if we... Then it's garden art, the digital sign, and lastly, a small security camera by the gate. So what's with the little camera? This is kind of our first line of defense in our home security system, so you can, can, you can see it uh, from your computer screen, you can record videos, you can watch it from work. And it's wireless. It's wireless. That's so what I like. You don't need any kind of cables, you just bolt it to the wall and then control a remote re with a remote control. With the new camera in place, we've got this house locked up tight, so don't get any ideas about that painting. When we come back, the Italian renaissance of a French country home. It's a real masterpiece, next. Now there's one show with all the best and brightest ideas for choosing great color. Get color. Tonight at 8, only on HGTV. Next, a Texas realtor is on the search for a quiet rancher of his own on House Hunters. Then, get color. All next on HGTV. started with a blank page and added over a century of knowledge, introducing the totally redesigned, all-new 2006 M-Class. 
Patty Perez? Oh, yes! <gasps> this is Patty. Hey, yeah! <laughs> yeah! This is Robert. Is, is Lewis next? This is how things could be if everyone realized that getting tested for colon cancer could actually keep them from getting it. Bring it on, Doc. It's one cancer you can avoid. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to your doctor about getting Thank tested. No, and no, for no, a free no, information no. kit, call 800-ACS-2345. This is the American Cancer Society. I still don't get it. Let's say that your ham sandwich is a computer on a basic high-speed connection. And let's say that my tuna sandwich is a computer with the protection of AOL. Uh-oh. There's a whole bunch of spam. Some viruses. Oh. Now, which would you rather have? Basic high-speed connection or high-speed with AOL? I'll have the tuna. Actually, the tune is mine. Get AOL on broadband for greater peace of mind and much more. Want a better internet? You belong in America Online. Good morning. At GEICO, we're all about happy customers. In fact, 97% rate our claim service fast and fair. But to get the other 3%, we're going across America, door to door. Now, of course, I don't want to get too technical, but if you look at the latest customer satisfaction ratings, those people sure were nice. My hands are still pruny. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Stop treating me like a dead shrub, Nancy. I'm going to beat this thing. Beat it once a week. Should be okay. Thanks, Jen. No problem, Nancy. Ah, oh, hey, look at me. Ace, the helpful place. Can't ignore Friday's new sizzling chicken and shrimp. It's just one of our six sizzling platters. Everyone can use more Fridays. Get more great ideas from Curb Appeal on HGTV.com. Well, except for a few minor bugs, this makeover was mostly air-free. And it turns out turning a French country home into an Italian villa is almost as easy as just flipping a switch. Originally, the Gillette's French country home was a gray day in Paris. Cold concrete, sterile metalwork, and back then, beige was all the rage. Designer Daniel Owens parted these cloudy skies, bringing a sunny Venetian influence to their formal city pad. December in Paris is now summer in Italy. A rich terracotta paint job, aged ironwork, and old world faux treatments make for a greeting that says, welcome home. The house that was pretty monotone now shines with cool details and Daniel's eclectic jewel box garden. Before, the entry aired on the side of drab. Now, it's a real work of art with views of Venice and incredible mosaics. Remember the old garage? Who would, but with a fresh coat of paint and a realistic stone treatment on the drive, it's a total standout. There's even the high-tech touches Steven wanted, a wireless security system, a digital sign in the lawn, and keyless entry for Asia. This place blends the best of the old world with the new one. Oh, look at the mural. Oh, wow. The house is absolutely fantastic. I had no idea that the driveway could look so nice, and it, it's definitely one of my favorite things. And everyone keeps asking, is it real, is it real? I know. The paint at first I was like, whoa, orange, and then I've been educated.